Hey, what's up guys? It's Gundam Shogun here. I'm bringing you guys the RX-78-2 working progress video number two. So this kit, all I've done so far was put about 16 LEDs just in the chest section. So it's from the chest up, which you guys are going to be checking out today. And the right, the what is it, the left side of the arm has a magnet now, so I'll show you guys that. But let's talk about the LEDs. So in general, the LEDs, I wanted to hook it up to 9 volts, a 9 volt battery for the, you know, the whole kit, which is... I didn't know. I, I did not know anything about um, LEDs or how to power them, so that was pretty ridiculous. What I what I promised in that video, but what I've done so far was I've done. I hooked up 12. I mean, sorry, four 12 volt batteries to make this whole big chest area light up. So it's basically 48 volts together. That's plus. I'm, I'm adding the 12 volts, the four 12 volts together, and that's powering all these 16 LEDs. And I did that instead of doing the, you know, 12 volts going to this section, 12 volts here, 12 volts here, and changing it that way because then I'll have to do four switches. So I just did, you know, 48 volts going to this whole thing so I have just one switch. So, like I said, you guys are just going to see from the, from the chest up because at the moment I haven't completed the bottom yet. So, let's just talk about the shield. The shield, I put a magnet here because the adapter is like stupid ridiculous. It has a, a cylinder sticking out right here. So... It looks fine like this, but then when you look in the back, it's a cylinder sticking out, and that's ridiculously ugly. But um, I did a grill here. I was intentionally going to use a um, like a how can I say it? Like a like a netted, like a, a metal net. But then I kept on cutting my hands on that little sharp metal stuff. So I used a uh, uh, fabric, like a stretchy fabric. And I stretched that on there and um, just glued it together so that the LEDs look like it has it has the appearance of a grill. So hope you guys like it. So the switch would be to turn on the LEDs would be right here, and all you gotta do is pull this beam saber forward. That was a nice thing. So um, I'll show you guys. I'll turn off the lights. Give me a second. And here we go. So that's really really great effect. That's the effect that I wanted to get. So, 48 volts going to 16 LEDs. That's the best that I could do at the moment right now, guys. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to show you guys the front of it. So, if you look down here, if you look at this angle, right down there, you can see the thrusters. I kind of have like a, like a crate. I don't, it doesn't come out on film that well, but there's like a really grainy thing that's blocking the light. So, it comes out like a, almost like a fog light. And um, the thrusters are like the, the brightest part of this whole kit. The thrusters are like my pride and joy. So we have the LEDs lighting up with all the back, and then we have these thrusters that are ridiculously bright. These these thrusters, I'm sorry, I'm like all oh, stupid right now for it. These thrusters could light up my whole room, no lie. Like it lights up my whole side of where I have my PlayStation, all that stuff. So hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll be doing the legs next. And I think this project is coming out great. So, you know, guys, subscribe, comment. I love reading you guys' comments, and I'll try to get back to you all your comments. So, hope you guys like this video. This is Gundam Shogun, and I'm out of here. Bye.